Hi, I'm travel blogger Jared Dillingham on the Navajo Nation in northern Arizona, exploring different parts of Antelope Canyon. The two most popular are upper and lower, but they're very different. So I want to walk you through what you can expect before you book your trip here. Upper Canyon tours start right in the city of Page. You'll load up in an open air 4x4 for a 20 minute ride down a highway, which turns off onto a dirt road. At the entrance, your group will line up outside to wait for a time to go in. They do try to keep the groups apart, and it's one way, kind of a full loop through. The upper Antelope Canyon is darker since the canyon here is A-shaped. The top of the canyon is closer together, so less light comes in. The walkway down below is wide and flat. People of all ages, including seniors with canes, can walk through here pretty easily. They recently restricted photography tours because photographers with tripods doing longer exposure shots were slowing down traffic inside the canyon. The upper canyon is about a quarter mile long. It'll take you half an hour or so to walk through and your guide will give you ample time for photos. And despite the crowd, you'll still be able to get great solo shots if you want. The Upper Canyon is the more expensive option with tours from one of the five companies operating here running more than $100 each. It is less crowded because they limit visitors to about 1,500 people a day. During the pandemic, the Upper Canyon turned into a one-way loop. You exit and walk a partially shaded path back to your vehicles. They built the steps, the ramps, and the overhang recently to keep people from overheating and just to make the walk back much easier. The switch to the loop also alleviated a lot of the two-way traffic congestion inside the canyon. Now, the entrance to the lower Antelope Canyon is much closer to Lake Powell. When the canyon floods, the water flows the five miles beyond the canyon right into the lake. For these tours, you have to drive the few miles outside the city of Page to park right at the canyon entrance. The lower canyon is much more physically challenging and not easy for anyone with a disability or who's out of shape. It begins with a short walk down an uneven rocky ramp to the first of several very steep staircases. You'll encounter several of these on your walk through the canyon, some so steep they're almost like ladders, just something to keep in mind. The lower canyon also has more rules, no bags allowed and no video. A word of caution, the folks at the lower Antelope Canyon are really serious about the no video policy. In fact, the guide behind us took a woman's cell phone and made her delete the video as she was recording them. So that's why you're going to see still photos from here on out. Another difference, the lower canyon is V-shaped, so much more light comes in from above, illuminating the bright orange walls. The photos in the lower canyon are much more impressive if you're looking for those vibrant colors. But the walkway is far more narrow. In fact, it is single file for much of the walk through. The lower canyon's also much more crowded. Still, the guides were again friendly and knowledgeable and generous with information and photography advice. The cost is less, as low as $50 per tour, which is less than half the price of the upper canyon. The lower canyon is also almost twice as long as the upper at about half a mile. And you'll emerge from the crevice at the end for a quick walk right back to the parking lot. They call it Antelope Canyon because antelope used to migrate down from Utah, but when they built the dam and Lake Powell here in the 1960s, it ruined that migration pattern of the herds. There are no antelope here these days. In fact, you really won't see any animals here aside from maybe a coyote. You will see the landscape change through summer monsoon season as floods come through the canyon. In fact, rain and lightning often cancel tours due to the threat of flash flooding, which has been deadly here many times over the years. Both upper and lower offer beautiful photo opportunities and great knowledgeable guides. You'll have the most light for photos on midday tours. You'll have the smallest crowds in the month of January. Now you can't just come here on your own, drive up and walk in. You have to book a tour with a guide who's able to bring you in. Years ago, they had a flood which killed a number of people. So that's when they switched to the whole tour guide system. Also book in advance because they often sell out during the busy summer months.